What you just witnessed is something that the US government is trying to hide from you. That's right, I know what you're thinking. My pals, the infection is spreading and the zombie outbreak is about to get real. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. I was just messing around. I know nothing about that. And yeah, even if I do, I couldn't tell you. But really though, what I just showed you is not just some random R-rated footage from The Walking Dead. It's very real and very disturbing, to be honest. <laughs> a couple in Maryland recorded this video showing a small deer that is literally covered in tons of warts, or something of the sort, wandering around their backyard. What the hell? The animal looks terrible, and the fact that it drops chunks of that black stuff as it moves really disturbs me. Poor thing. Disgusting! The deer seems very injured and, well, rotten. This is just heart-wrenching to watch. You can definitely hear the disgust, pain, and sadness in that woman's voice as she witnessed the poor thing running away. Oh, it's hurt. It's hurt so bad. But what's wrong with that deer? What causes it? And is it dangerous to humans? So it turns out that the deer was covered in something called deer warts. That's right. It was warts falling off the animal right there. Gross, right? This is a common skin disease that occurs throughout the range of deer. These display as firm, warty growths fixed to their skin. They vary in size, though most are just a few centimeters in diameter, are typically dark in color and bare of fur, and often appear cracked, infected, and lumpy. The masses occur most frequently around the eyes, mouth, face, neck, and forelimbs, and may appear as a single mass or numerous growths. Some deer have been found with more than 200 warts. That explains why the infected deer looks so scary and nasty. This one even has a massive tumor dangling on its neck. That's huge though. I thought it was the heart falling out of his chest after knowing his wife was cheating on him with another deer. <laughs> just, just kidding. But anyway, what would happen to a deer if it was infected with this disease? Because these warts are only attached to the skin, not the underlying muscle and bone, deer are generally unaffected by the condition, unless the location or size of the tumor interferes with their normal movement, feeding, or vision. And they usually regress and eventually disappear with time. But for this deer in particular, the warts were way too big and severely infected, to the point where literally chunks of rotten skin fell off, making it hard for the animal to move and probably hard to eat too. It just looks so painful. So I don't think this animal is gonna make it. So how is this disease transmitted? The way the disease is transmitted is not entirely known. However, it has been suggested that transmission occurs through direct contact between broken skin and infectious material. Since more bucks are seen with the condition, Rutting or fighting among males during the rut or rubbing of antlers to shed velvet may play a role in disease spread. Biting insects may also be involved in disease transmission. But is there anything we can do to help these poor animals from being invaded by ugly wart disease? Sadly, there is no effective and broadly applicable treatment for deer wart. In captive animals, it may be possible to surgically remove large growths, but this is definitely not a practical treatment for wild animals. Wildlife rehabilitators may provide care for and encourage the health of deer that are negatively impacted. But in most cases, impacted deer should be left alone in the wild. In severe cases where a deer is unable to eat, see, or move normally, euthanasia may be the most appropriate course of action it's best to put them out of their misery. And now, for today's biggest question, can humans that come in contact with sick deer become infected? I mean, no one wants a big clump of stiff warts sitting on your face. I wouldn't want that. Because if so, your social life will suffer for sure, and you're gonna be in a lot of pain. But lucky for us all, the virus that causes this disease is not known to infect humans. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus! Nature really wants animals to suffer, especially deer. These docile creatures were not favored by her. They literally get the weirdest kind of diseases. Zombie deer or chronic wasting disease has got to be the worst one so far. This poor thing got infected and you can see how skinny it is. The disease is caused by an abnormal protein in the body that affects the brain and nervous system. As the disease progresses, tiny holes appear in the brain like a sponge. 
and brain function deteriorates. Infected animals display symptoms such as weight loss, poor coordination, stumbling, drooling, trembling, and depression. Hence the name zombie deer disease. And this deer shows every sign. An animal can be infected with chronic wasting disease for up to three years before showing signs of disease. That's crazy though. By the time one deer starts to get sick, dozens more have already carried the infection and it just keeps on spreading. And sadly, there is no cure for those who are infected. It is fatal in all cases. There is no treatment or vaccine whatsoever, and it spreads very quickly and easily between animals through saliva, urine, feces, tissue, and even through plants and soil. Believe me when I say that this is when my worst dream came true. Zombies, what if the disease infects us? That'd be the end of the world, uh, right? Deer have got to be one of my favorite animals in the world, and it's heartbreaking for me to witness these lovely creatures suffer. But that's just the way things are. So, what do you think about today's video? Be sure to let us know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Worldpedia.